step into a world where sweetness isn't born gently, it's forged in a storm of steel, fire, and unstoppable power. A world hidden behind high factory walls, where towering machines breathe steam like dragons, conveyor belts race like rivers of steel, and every second decides whether sugar is born, or lost. This is not just production. This is a war against time, against spoilage, against imperfection. Welcome to the heart of the sugar mill, where raw cane becomes pure, sparkling crystals through a battle of precision, heat, and relentless motion. It begins far from the factory floor. Out in the fields, the air is hot and heavy. Stalks of sugarcane stand tall like a green army, their blades shimmering in the sun. Months of sunlight, rain, and patient waiting lead to this moment. When the cane swells with sweet juice, the harvest begins. The blades slice through the fields, and the air fills with the sound of snapping stalks, a crisp, rhythmic sound that signals the start of the sugar's journey. Truck after truck groans under the weight of freshly cut cane, heading straight toward the beating heart of the mill. But this is no leisurely journey. Every second matters. The longer the cane waits, the more its sweetness fades. So the race against time begins right here, long before the first machine turns. As the trucks approach the factory gates, they enter a world most people never see. The ground vibrates beneath their wheels. A chorus of machinery hums in the distance, a sound like a thousand metallic beasts waking from their sleep. Steam hisses. Chains clank. And a single sweet stalk is about to face a trial of fire and force. The waybridge looms like a silent sentinel. Each truck is measured, logged, and marked. There's no room for error here. Every kilogram counts. Then, massive claws and conveyors take over, lifting the sugarcane like prey being dragged toward its fate. The stalks tumble onto long conveyor belts, rattling and shaking as they're pulled into the factory's core. From this moment on, nothing stops. The factory is alive, its rhythm measured in tons per hour, in revolutions per second, in the piercing scream of gears cutting through cane. The first enemy of perfection is dirt. Leaves, soil, stray stalks, everything must be stripped away. Powerful water jets roar down like a storm, slamming into the cane with merciless precision. What was once a quiet field crop now becomes clean, slick, and ready for the steel teeth that wait ahead. This is the first transformation, from plant to raw material. Then comes the crushing floor. It's a place of thunder. Massive rollers the size of small cars spin with terrifying speed. The cane meets them, and in a single, shattering moment, the stalks are crushed into pulp. It's not just noise, it's a sound that shakes the walls, a low roar that never stops. Juice gushes out in a golden stream, splashing into steel channels that snake through the factory. The air is thick with the scent of fresh sugarcane, sweet, green, and almost electric. The leftover fiber, now nothing but shredded husk called bagasse, doesn't go to waste. It's whisked away to fuel the factory's boilers. Here, the plant feeds itself. Flames leap skyward inside massive furnaces, converting what was once stock into heat and power. The temperature rises. Steam hisses through pipes. The mill becomes a living machine, breathing, pulsing, unstoppable. The raw juice, though sweet, is far from pure. Tiny impurities lurk inside, dust, bits of plant, natural acids. If they remain, perfection is lost. So the juice is sent to giant clarifiers, where lime and heat begin their silent war. A precise chemical reaction dances in massive tanks. Particles settle. The clear juice rises. What looks calm on the surface is actually a microscopic battlefield, where science and precision separate clarity from chaos. Once purified, the juice flows into colossal evaporators. Here, the factory tightens its grip. Imagine a room filled with pipes as wide as tree trunks. Steam roars through them, and the juice begins to boil, not with a gentle simmer, but with a fierce, churning rage. Water flees as vapor. The juice thickens, turning into a rich, golden syrup. You can almost feel the heat radiating through the air, see the gleam of condensed steam dripping from steel walls, hear the deep, rhythmic thump of vacuum pumps pulling the moisture away. Every second, 
hundreds of leaders are transformed. But this is only the beginning of the real drama. The syrup is now dense and potent, but it's not yet sugar. The crystallization house awaits, where science meets timing with surgical precision. Huge vacuum pans stand like metallic giants. Inside, the syrup is boiled again, this time in a controlled vacuum environment. This lowers the boiling point, saving energy and forcing sugar to form. Tiny seed crystals are added like a whisper in a storm, and the magic begins. The syrup starts to sparkle. Little grains of sugar emerge, glinting in the light like tiny stars being born in a molten sky. The room is hot. The air is thick with steam and sweetness. The vacuum pans roar softly, their pressure gauges trembling. Technicians watch closely. This stage can't be rushed. Too soon, and the crystals stay small and weak. Too late, and they clump into a heavy mass. It's a delicate dance of timing, temperature, and flow, a war fought silently inside steel chambers. When the crystals are just right, the entire mixture is unleashed into massive centrifuges. These machines spin at incredible speeds, screaming like jet engines. The mixture of sugar and molasses is flung against the drum's walls, and in an instant, the dark molasses is thrown out, leaving behind brilliant, shining sugar crystals. This is the factory's climax, the moment raw sweetness is born in its purest form. The sound here is deafening. Metal spins. Steam bursts. Sugar rains inside the machine like a blizzard of tiny diamonds. Workers move with precision, every step measured, every valve checked. One wrong move can cost thousands of kilograms. But when the centrifuges slow, and the white crystals are revealed, it's like witnessing a hidden sunrise inside a steel chamber. Pure. Perfect. Sweet. But the journey isn't over. Fresh sugar still holds a trace of warmth, a whisper of moisture. It moves to the drying tunnels, where hot air rushes through like desert winds, drying each crystal to perfection. The sugar flows in shimmering waves, cascading down steel chutes, its texture shifting from damp and heavy to light and crisp. The air here smells sweet and hot, a scent so thick it clings to the skin. Then comes the final march, packaging. Automated system scoop, weigh, and seal the sugar into bags with military precision. Conveyor belts carry the finished product forward like soldiers in perfect formation. Each bag is uniform, sealed, and marked. Behind the speed and power, there's an invisible layer of control, laser sensors, automated checkers, endless monitoring. Not a single grain escapes this system unnoticed. The sugar that began its journey as a sunlit stalk in a quiet field is now a flawless product, ready to sweeten the world. But hidden inside each crystal is a story of relentless machines, boiling tanks, and roaring furnaces. A story written not in words, but in steam, steel, and fire. This factory doesn't sleep. Day and night, its heartbeat echoes through its pipes and gears. Trucks come, trucks go. The harvest never ends. Each cycle repeats with unflinching precision. Farmers cut the cane. Machines crush it. Heat purifies it. Science crystallizes it. The world tastes sweetness, but only a few ever witness the storm behind that sweetness. If you stand inside the mill for just a moment, you can feel it. The ground trembles beneath your feet. The air vibrates with pressure. The walls thrum with energy. Every drop of juice, every crystal of sugar, is born through a battle fought in real time. Here, perfection isn't a luxury. It's a demand. In this world, even a second of delay can shift everything. Cane can sour. Juice can darken. Crystals can fail. So the entire system is built like a fortress, machines tuned to perfection, workers trained to precision, every valve and gauge monitored with an almost military discipline. It's not just food processing. It's controlled chaos, engineered to create something flawless. Think of that the next time you stir sugar into your morning tea, or bite into a soft cake, or feel that burst of sweetness on your tongue. Behind that single grain lies a roaring factory, a battlefield where nature and technology meet. The sugar doesn't arrive easily. 
It's one, extracted, purified, forged in fire and steel. The sun rises over the fields, and the cycle begins again. Fresh stalks are cut. Trucks roll in. Steam billows. The machines roar to 